Hello. <clears throat> okay, let me from Motorhead here. So, oh, all right. here we are on TV, for a change. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. start up, we overtake you, yeah? Oh, right. The energetic boys, we are. Shoot. Well, however boring it is for you, just think it's ten times as boring for us, because we heard mm. them already. Try and make them a bit more original, you know, use a couple of unusual words or something, you know. <laughs> well, this one's more recent. That's the first thing. It's on a different label. I think this record is... I'm an inch taller. Yeah, and I'm an inch smaller, actually. Yeah, he plays drums, same as the last one. I play bass, you know, sing. I mean, what can I tell you? It's a more aggressive record, I think. What? Oh, more aggressive, yeah, that's right. It's uh, brighter songs. Brighter? You didn't hear the whole album, but it's... Uh, I know, he didn't read the lyrics either when I played it to him. More aggressive, more up-to-date songs. That's the bottom line, basically. Yeah, well, you know, there's more raw sex on this yeah, one. This, is, on the last this one. is brutal. This brutal sex, brutal raw sex, that's what we want on this one. Well, okay. yeah, and, and even when we played it to him, he didn't listen. You see that? Yeah, he was reading it. too busy stealing the nuts off the table there. Did it scare you? <laughs> <laughs> Defensive just, already. No, right, right. I just, <laughs> what do you think I mean by that? Is it I open mean, to interpretation? <laughs> this is simple <laughs> shit, man. You know, put it in your system and your girlfriend takes her clothes off. Have you got any more ideas about that? How uh, could there be a hidden meaning? <laughs> you know? so do you think I mean? Do you think I mean something about politics in East in Asia or what? Maybe if it doesn't work, play another record. You know, I don't care. You should actually make him take the clothes off, not me. I mean, if you need me to do it for you, you don't deserve it anyway. <laughs> I have more sex before I had the new record. I, I have more sex in the future too. I mean, I'll have more sex because I don't care. You know, I'm a sailor and we don't care. <laughs> I was thinking to the the complacent assholes who go to church three times a week and don't believe any of it. You know, just so as they hope they sit on the right hand of God after they die. You know, but the thing is, don't waste your time doing that because that's your death. You're going to spend your whole life worrying about your death. Seems like. Bullshit to me. <laughs> they said, go for it, which is a very good way of doing it, yeah? I think it's there, you gotta find you, out yourself. You shouldn't be taught what to believe, no, you, you should find be, out. Follow what you want to do, you know? If you want to go to church, if you want to spend your life, uh, you know, thinking maybe. Praying. You, maybe you did the right thing. If you want to pray, go pray, too. you know, but I think there's more to life than that. It's not even a very good book, it doesn't even have a happy ending, you know what I mean? It's a better book. It doesn't matter Quran. what it is. The I mean, Quran is geez. a better book, you know, if you want to read a religious book, you know. I'm interested in what bullshit it is, yeah. Religion is control, yeah. You have to confess, to, everybody in the village confesses to the priest every week, right? So the only guy in the village who knows everything about everybody is the priest. Power trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they got you because they might tell somebody, right? So everybody goes nice to church, very nice to prayers, you know, put a few bucks in the fucking plate, you know. It's bullshit, man. How do you know it's going to work? Maybe the Jews were right. Maybe anybody was right. The Islam was right. Who knows? You might be fucking wasting your time completely all your life. So what do you believe? I believe, believe I'll find just, out when I die and I can wait. <laughs> Day, so I live a decent life. I, I live my life the best I can. I don't fuck anybody over. I don't screw anybody for money. I do my. I treat people the best I can treat them. I'm an honest man. I'm an honourable man, I, and that's how I do it. And if that isn't Christian, or if it isn't, you know, to the readings of any book, I don't care. I'm doing the best life I can do. All religions are shit. I'm tolerant. <laughs> <laughs> it's you that matters. It's what you do, not what you do to this. You know, stay in with the religious teachings. What do they know? They don't know either. You know, they don't know if God's a hairy thunder or a cosmic muffin. You know, who cares, actually? They don't know any more than you do, man. Don't listen to people in frocks.
I mean, we got some in Halle two years ago, and the Sig Heil said, sit your ugly ass down. <laughs> I said, this isn't politics, this is rock and roll. She said, you want to make a speech, go outside, you know, I'm not interested. There's no argument to it, I've got a microphone, he doesn't. What about, I, I don't need to discuss it with him, I know he's an asshole. Why waste of fucking time? Either. Same with the communists, the same. All politics are assholes. you never seen a politician who kept his promise. You never saw a politician who wasn't a liar. Not even the Greens. Because they used to be the Communist Party, right? They changed now, different colour, but it's the same thing. It's all bullshit, man. It's all control. They want you to do what they say because their word is better than that other guy, right? It's not. You should be sufficient in yourself, man. You should do the best you can do. You should make the world a better place for having been in it, yeah? On your way through it, you should improve it, not fuck it up not suck from it, you know, you should make it better. You should give to it. If you can't do that, then I don't care what your religion is, you're a loser. I didn't move for politics, man. I moved because the climate was better. <laughs> <laughs> and the women wear less clothes, you know what I mean? Fucking and everything's right. half priced, that's why I moved. Yeah, of course. You think I moved for politics? Fuck you, know. Nah, I would move across the street for politics. You don't move to US for culture and you don't move for Politics. I mean, you. That's a fucking messed up country, big time. Yeah, I've got forty four years of culture. Both you know. No culture and and fucking fucked up, you know, politics. And liars on TV. You but know. they do have fucking great weather, and they sure have a. No, I got fifty seven TV channels everywhere, yeah. man. I'd rather have a, a, some bikini chicks run by my house. Exactly, than rather than the fur coat. You know what I mean? Swedish old lady, you know, in a bus stop. You know, forget it. No, it's a. It's we a, want raw sex. That's basically what. Nah. <laughs> Hello everybody, Motorhead want more raw sex because we haven't got much time now, we're getting old, you know, and everything. <laughs> so any raw sex you got, please bring it on, you know, we're ready for you. I really don't care. In no, fact, the sooner the better. They they got the yeah, but they don't have anywhere near the same commitment as I got, so fuck them. But, right. they, but they sure as hell have a lot more cash. So yeah, they got more cash, so it's time sure. to quit anyway. See, pop kids, you don't have to give up when you're 40. Look. 49, I don't give a fuck, all right? You can do it as long as you like, as long as it feels good. He's too young, apart from that. Yeah. So, um... No, he's getting old real quick now, he's doing another head. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more grey hair now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> they got the promos out way too early. The, the real master was mastered last Friday. So, what you're listening to right now is not the master. Some young rookie fucked it up in the studio and the promo shit. That yeah. bastard. What a son of a bitch. But uh, no, no, the real stuff is, is uh, it's not a lot of difference. The recording is just fine, thank you, that. Sonny. Makes it so It was great. just the mastering was fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think we're doing this shit for? Of course we're going to do it. Yeah, it's our biggest sales here. Yeah. The audience compared to the American audience is the same. If the audience likes you, they like you and you feel great. If they don't like you, you feel really pissed off. Everybody goes home badly. You know, I mean... Well, they're a bit more critical. Anywhere they like us, I like it. You yeah. know? If they don't like it, it's very hard to like them. You know? Europeans are a bit cr if People are going, critical. boo, fuck off. It's very hard to like them people. You know, if yeah, they go, yay, yeah, you know. Motorhead is great, then I like them. And you would too, right? I only got a favorite people to play to, people who like us. I hate playing to people who don't like me. It's really a Actually, drag. Hopefully they're not there. It's not like TV, you see. You can't tell if they like you or not. You're just saying it anyway. Mm -hmm. But we have to be in front of an audience, see. And if they go, fuck you, then I don't like it. Yeah. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I don't hear all the bands in the world. You do, you know, I don't hear them. It depends on what you think is hard, man. What, what kids today think is hard. I don't consider music sometimes, you know. I mean, people think that music made with a drum machine is hard now. You well, know. Yeah. I don't really think so. If you go out on stage and, and fire up six fucking chainsaws and put some screaming son of a bitch on front. That's hard. That's hard for some people, you know. I wouldn't say it was musical, but it is hard. I don't call that music. Why do I have to think of anything except Motorhead? <laughs> I can't afford to think of anything except Motorhead. It would dissipate my talent. Mm. I have to think of Motorhead first. Isn't that right, Mason? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but there's, you know, there's a lot of bands out there. There. Yeah, there's wonderful here, bands you know. who are a lot harder than, you know, louder and everything. Sure. But it doesn't make them better.
want to spend all the money on PA, that's very simple. Yeah. <laughs> you know? We did that a few yes, times. Well, <coughs> you just gotta go down there and rent it, you know, and fill up the fucking arena with PA. That's not hard. Yeah. You know? It's what you do with, with the equipment that's important, yeah? yeah? Not the equipment itself. The equipment is only a way to reach the audience. It's what you're doing is important. What we're doing is fantastic. I don't know anybody who's better. <laughs> if I didn't think I was doing the right thing, then I wouldn't still be here wasting your time with it, you know? I think what we're doing is valid. Doesn't matter how old we are, or how young they are, or who's louder, or anything like that. What we're doing is, if we didn't exist, it would be necessary to invent us, yeah? <laughs>
You don't find an animal getting up in Parliament and reading your <laughs> paper, do you? Jesus, animals are animals. It's not my fault. I didn't make them that way. You know, I like a good steak. I don't give a fuck. You know, I mean, good luck to people who are fighting against foxhounds, things like that. I don't like that. But don't ask me to love a cow because it's really hard. You know, <laughs> they taste much better oh, than really? they look. I fell in love with a cow once. Yeah, that's true. I kicked that's her true. out. <laughs> <laughs> Gloria. I kicked her the fuck out. Gloria the cow, aye. Right? Big old cow. He was going to marry her for a while. Good lord. She was out the window, man. <laughs> he, he couldn't find the parents to get the consent. That was <laughs> Actually, she turned out to be a real rat. Nice tits. Yeah, a rat. If she rat. was a cow, then she was a rat. Big, big fucking rat. At least rat, she's still actually. in the same apartment in the supermarket, right? <laughs> I'm against vivisection. I'm against animal testing. Yeah, for sure. Why not, you know? Fight for it? What the fuck should I fight for it? A lot of people fighting for it. I don't need to fight for it. But I will put in my two words, you know, I'm against it. Yeah, sure. I've got lyrics about incest on the last album. You know, it's a long jump. What do you want? Right away. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm still yeah. writing about asshole politicians. You know, they're more important. If you've got good politicians, all that would be included, yeah? AIDS, what about it? You got it? Neither have I. Yeah. Forget it. Next. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to. Look at the size of me. Oh. I'd be a lot thinner if I had AIDS. <laughs> People with AIDS don't look this good, you know. They look like... How do I know? Because I've seen pictures of them on the fucking television. That's how I know. Okay. <laughs> I have to do better than that. How do I know? Excuse me, just getting this aggressive there so I don't get cancer before my time. Right? <laughs> Idols. Not Billy. <laughs> What do you about Billy, eh? Uh, what's he doing these days? Driving a motorbike, probably. Again? Can't wait. I've got idols now. Most of them the same ones I had in me. I don't know, it's difficult, you know, to have idols. If you meet your idol, it's over, you know. They always got feet of clay, right? They never show up to be the ones you thought they were. But, I mean, no, people can't live up to what you think they are, you know. You shouldn't ask, expect them to. Because you think they're big, you know, and they're not big, they're only people, you know. I like Little Richard. I think Little Richard as a gay black guy growing up in Macon, Georgia in 1954 was pretty good, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, he had more fucking roads to hoe than you or I will ever have, man. He survived. <laughs> <laughs> he survived that, he can survive yeah. anything. Kids, what about them? <laughs> i got two kids, one of them I never met. And the other one is a guitar player in London, looks just like me, but with blonde hair, poor little bastard. So he has to do the best he can do. I'm doing the best I can do, you know. I speak to him now and again, we say hello. So far I have, yeah. He hasn't, like, refused to write back to me yet. <laughs> what the part they don't teach you in school, you mean? Yeah, well, that's the one people know about most, isn't it? You know, like, it's the most recent part, you know. You have to come to terms with that, you know. It's not, not old anymore, you know. It's not, like... I don't know, whatever is your history, you should know about it. And the schools here don't teach you about it, right? Still, they skim over it. Well, in 1933, and then in 1945, you know, and we started the G DDR, you know, which was the same fucking government except with a different flag, right? A different guy with a beard instead of the little moustache. It doesn't fucking matter, you know. You should come to terms with the history, man. It's not for me to tell you. I mean, I probably know more about it than you do, which is wrong, you know. Your school should teach you about it, really. Everybody makes a mistake, you know. A lot of people in Germany were fighting against it, you know, just as many as they were fighting for it. And anyway, the guy was a very charismatic politician, you know. With hindsight, you can see what he was going to do. You can't see it when he was first started. He looked pretty good, then he gave everybody a job, you know. Everybody had food on the table again. What the fuck are you going to vote for? You're going to vote for that guy because it looks good, because you're better off than you were before. Of course you would vote for him. You don't know what he's going to do later. The only trouble you got is that people will keep saying German and mean Nazi, you know, and you've got to get over that. You've got to find out about your history, like I say. You've got to read about it. You've got to find out everything you can find out about it. And then you know what you're talking about. You can't just say, no Nazis, uh -oh, you know, because that isn't it. You've got to find out everything about it. I would say that Dresden was a horrible thing. I would say that Hamburg was a horrible thing. We didn't need to do that. We shouldn't have done it. I'd say that Bomber Harris was a butcher, just as bad as Hitler. Any time, you know. Bombing civilians is bullshit. Same as the IRA do it, you know, for Ireland. They're not doing it for Ireland, they're doing it for the IRA to keep themselves going, you know. It's the same thing. To look tough, the British bombed Dresden, yeah? 
and there was no need to bomb it, actually. There was no army there, there was no anti-aircraft guns even. There was just refugees, and we bombed them. I'm not proud of that, you know? Everybody makes mistakes, like I just said, right? But they make them in your name, you see what I mean? And you can't do anything about it. You weren't even there, but you're getting the results of it, you know? People say Nazi, German, you know? It's not the same word. I got a jacket and I got a patch on it. I bought it in some Hanover Holiday Inn or something. It says, Ich bin stolz an Deutsche zu sein, right? And people say, oh, fuck, don't wear that. I said, what's wrong with being proud of being German? There's a lot more to be proud of in German history than that one thing, you know? That's 50 years. That was just 12 years, you know? Yeah. Motorhead's been going eight years longer than Hitler. You know? <laughs> so what the fuck, you know, what are you talking about? You know, it's only 12 years out of the whole hundreds of years of German history, you know? You got Gita and Schiller and Kant and, you know? There's a lot more things to be proud of in German history. You shouldn't be not proud to be a German. I said to this girl, she said, what are you wearing that for? I said, what, you're not proud to be German? She said, no. I said, well, you're fucking stupid then, you know. You should be proud of what you are, you know. Not what was, you know, 50 fucking years ago. It's a long time ago, you know. The DDR has a slight problem, but there you go. <laughs> the Stasi informers, when they opened up the archives, <laughs> I don't know if I'd find my wife had been informing on me on the Stasi for 20 years, very palatable. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with that information. You know, it's a bit rough. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to Vienna tonight, see some real Nazis. Vienna. That's why we hate you, because you're keeping us here when we could be driving now. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right, man. It's part of the gig, you know. <laughs> I don't have a favorite joke. It depends on the circumstances. <laughs> some jokes you can't tell in mixed company, you know what I mean? <coughs> What's my favorite joke, Mike? I don't know. Knock, knock. Who's there? Gestapo. Gestapo. People ask the questions. See, it's not very funny in Germany, right? <laughs> it's not actually my favorite joke either. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Pretty poor, like everybody else's is mostly. You know, old mouth and no trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, 14 or something, you know, usual, usual bullshit, you know. What happened in Germany? This sex thing exploded here in the last six months, or what? Did it? What I happened? mean, I had more sex than you had at dinners. <laughs> <laughs> so far, you know. Believe me, the 60s and 70s were a lot more fun, you know, before we got this great gift of AIDS which God sent us, you know, to stop us being arrogant, you know. We were arrogant, we enjoyed it, yeah? yeah. Sex, and more sex is my recipe for a good life. Even if you get AIDS, it's better than no sex and no AIDS. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, I'd rather give up, you know, I wouldn't give up sex just so I don't get AIDS. I'd really? rather have plenty of sex and get AIDS, fuck it. <laughs> At least I'd have something to remember while I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> Life after death, don't know. Find out when I die, I can wait. You can't waste your whole life thinking about death. You're alive, you know. If Life. there isn't, I don't know how to explain ghosts. I don't believe in that shit. That, that, that might be just the publicity department, right? You know, sending a couple of guys back to tell you about it. It looks good over there, you know, and everything. I don't know, I, I've seen a ghost. Well, I heard a ghost, I didn't see him. But like, yeah, I did. And you can laugh all your life, but I still, I still heard it, you know, what I heard. And it was true. There was nobody coming through eight miles of blizzard to frighten my ass, you know. We were in this cottage eight miles away from the nearest farm and we heard things and everybody was in one room and we heard things outside it you know so it was definitely a ghost because we couldn't have done that too. we couldn't do that you know goats if, too if goat goat i believe in goats too if it wasn't a goat it might have been a goat i am after all a capricorn it's time bob there was uh, a talking goat the singing talking goat. the singing goat <laughs> the singing goat the brothers singing bush was, the singing goat singing brothers bush it was. Okay. oh the <laughs> singing bush that's what it was Bad breath, don't have it. <laughs> Somebody would have told me by now. Try to kiss him, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like violence. It's Painless. unnecessary. If you've got a brain, you can argue, you know. That's what God gives us brains for, so we can argue our way out of it, you know. You shouldn't need to do violence. If you have violence, then you're just a dummy. You know, that's the only thing you've got going for you is violence, and anybody can be stronger than the next guy. All you've got to do is work out, you know. And that doesn't mean you're smarter. I paralyze people with my mouth. See, I've got a good mouth on me. A machine gun mouth. 
So, I mean, well, fighting is not proof. Too it's much just that you were faster, violence, faster or stronger or something. That doesn't mean you're smarter. You know, it's no answer to anything, you know. Poor Scott. And he's <laughs> German too, that's amazing. He's in the Bayerische Hof. Some hotel, huh? Yeah, it's a clubhouse right here. It's a toilet right here. It is. I hope having a good time because we sure are, and we make. Mm, we sure are. Yes, we and, are. And uh, ah. we got to get out of here now. So excited! Hit fucking Vienna, Vienna now. Quick. Wien, so the Wiener city. Tune on the, in on the down now. Shows on Motorhead. Hopefully, boogity boogity. If and not, just listen to rock and roll, smoke more cigarettes, eat, drink more booze, fuck more women, and have a good time. All right, because everything else is bullshit. And now I got to call my manager. And yeah, he has to call his manager, and um, that's it. That's it. <laughs>